What's going on YouTube? My name is Zach Central and welcome to the channel. So we have finally made it to Friday night and Tuned Originals is tomorrow. Well, not morning anymore. There's like a 100% chance of rain tomorrow. Thunderstorms. So they pushed the event back. I actually don't have to be to the event till 2 p.m. now. And I still think it's going to rain all day. So I don't even know if I am going to go. I don't know. It's been a real touchy subject with me all day. Because I worked all week trying to get this car done. And now knowing that I have to pull an all-nighter to finish it, to get it to this show so that it can sit in the rain all day, I'm a little, have mixed emotions about it. We'll see what happens. Still gonna get this car done. Now, besides that, motivation level is just at zero today. You ever have one of those days where you get up to do something that you know you got to do and you just don't wanna do anything? That's me today. I don't want to do anything. I just kind of want to sleep. But, alright. I was about to yawn. This is terrible. Okay, so. I'm a real person. I get tired. We got stuff to do. We actually have a lot to do. First thing is this bumper. We got to get the bumper knocked out and then the rear bumper. If I knock those two main pieces out, because those are gonna take me about two hours, two and a half hours a piece, ish, give or take. That's laying the material, getting it on the bumper, and then trimming, which trimming actually takes probably just as long as laying it to trim it good. Yes. We're just gonna go from there. I'm not gonna be able to just record everything today because even my video that I posted today, video of last night with the course report was like 30 minutes long and that's way too long. And if you watch that, thank you very much. I know that's a lot of content. I don't like putting out videos that long. People just lose interest. So there will probably be a lot of uh, time lapses and stuff or just updates showing you the progression of the car tonight. I think that's gonna be the best way and that's the best way that I can just stay focused and be like work, 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 work instead of where am I gonna put the camera? <laughs> and what am I gonna show you guys? Because we gotta get this done. We're already starting late, we both come home and we didn't both start on the car. So enough of me talking. Let's get some stuff done. I'll start updating you throughout the night. We'll see what happens guys either it's gonna be done or it's gonna be done in the morning or we're gonna make it to the show or it's gonna be raining and we're not going to the show at this point I don't know Super quick update for you guys. We are starting to make progress. That, that cap is actually over there. We're gonna wrap that separate. But we got everything basically done. That's all cut out and will be covered with the plastic bezel. So we're gonna continue to go, just go ahead and cover that. <laughs> Bumper taken apart, finally. We have all this off, lights out. There's this piece. That rear bumper is a pain in the arse, by the way. Yes. Yes. <laughs> so next one, I'll, uh, I'll probably show you. Once this is fully done and just needs to be trimmed, I'll take it off and I'll put it over there so that it's easier to trim off the car, which I'll show you guys soon. So much trimming. All right, guys. So, it's, why are you laughing? I don't know. 
So this is what happens when it gets really late and you get bored or delirious rather. Wrap everything, everything. This was my grill, by the way. This was like right there. Anyways, <laughs> Craig thinks this is hilarious, by the way. We'll get back to work. Okay. So the front end is coming together. You can probably see we got the headlights in. Because the bumper is done. Well, besides the splitter. Man. Splitter is a pain in that ass to put on and take off. It's the ZL1 add-ons splitter. Now, it's very well designed, and it bolts... <laughs> It has a lot of mounting locations, so I'm very pleased with how that works. My plan is to build my own. Problem is, I don't have time to do it before tuned originals. So, the Z01 splitter needs to go back on. Now, I do have new rods. I gotta show you guys this. One second. These are the splitter rods that have been on my car since... I put the splitter on. These are just cheap, adjustable eBay splitter rods. Now these are what's going on. These are from Fully Torqued Racing and the quality of these are insane, guys. Now, side-by-side -side comparison, there's absolutely no I mean, these are adjustable as well. I haven't adjusted them to get them to the same size, but I mean, I'm not worried about these at all. These are actually functional. These are real rods used by companies who actually do, or sorry, not companies, by racers who actually need them. Not these decorative fall apart ones right here from eBay. I will put a link down below for these. And once I build my splitter, I will give a full review on these because these are awesome. As you can see behind me, it is now the next day. And this is my backyard and it's super wet. I decided not to go to Tuned Originals. I decided not to pull an all nighter well, let's backtrack. I decided not to pull an all-nighter and not to go to Tuna Rentals because of the weather. I could have stayed up all night and finished the car, but I really didn't want to just go ahead and put my fresh, brand new, rushed wrap job through an hour drive to Louisville with wet roads and grime and potentially have corners or edges or wheel wells or something lift because I'm trying to make a car show. There are more car shows. I'm really, really disappointed that I'm not making tuned originals because I had been planning on this show for a long time and I've already rushed some things on the car that I probably would have done differently because of the show. It is what it is. It's now Saturday morning afternoon uh, I think it is noon actually it is noon so I'm gonna finish the car today there's a Hot Wheels show Hot Wheels Legends Tour next weekend in Grand Prairie that I got accepted to the car should be there now I'm actually gonna go ahead and do all the things that I wanted to do all the things that were on the main list because I'm not rushing just to get it to a show. I was gonna put my ZL1 add-on splitter back on and not make my own and do all this just to go to Tuned Originals and in all honesty, I was just gonna have to turn around and take all that off just to do what I actually wanted to do. So yes, I'm missing a show. Show season's just starting. Um, it is what it is, guys. It happens. Sometimes you don't meet deadlines. Sometimes it's best not to meet those deadlines due to quality reasons. Sometimes you just don't want to rush things. 
to get the quality job or get things how you actually want it. Sometimes it just takes a little bit longer than your ideal goal or situation provides. So that's where we stand today. I'm gonna go and probably go do some running around. I need to go get some tools and go do some other things and then get started on the car and just have a, a fresh day. Finally not feel rushed. So this video is gonna be a part of last night, part of today, and we'll get it uploaded for you guys. And I, I genuinely hope you guys appreciate the, the car and where it's going because the front end is on and it looks good. All right guys, we have really drug out this process, but we're seeing light at the end of the tunnel. The rear bumper inlays are done. This bumper is almost impossible to do in one piece. So I'll show you guys what I did. I went ahead and laid this top piece all the way across because when this trunk is closed, which I'm not gonna close it because I gotta get back in the car, you still see all of that. Ask me how I figured that out. <laughs> and of course, the license plate area. Now with this material, all I'm gonna have to do is just tuck in here and I have the knifeless tape already laid, which I'm glad I just did that because it's lifted. Now I'm gonna have to make sure that that is good whenever. Okay, all the other corners are good. And let's see, we got Craig over here on the rockers. What else? The front bumper is completely done and on. I don't know if I wanna show you guys. I feel like showing you guys the front bumper and everything We'll let you know how the car looks complete. And I don't know if I want to let you guys see the car complete yet. What do you think? No? Think no? Okay, Craig said no. So if y'all get mad, y'all can say in the comments. It's Craig's fault. Because it'll be on the ground and outside tomorrow. And you guys might just have to wait. And I don't have my front splitter on. And the front splitter, okay. So the biggest thing with the front splitter is the rods. I showed you guys the difference. Well, this mounting, you can see how big this mounting spot is compared to the small surface area of this mounting. Now there's not a lot of room, man, without showing you guys, I just can't show you guys the front bumper. So the front bumper just goes in barely before that lower grill and it had about enough room for this. So what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to take this one to work and sand one side of it so that it'll butt up against this front, <laughs> this lower grill and have enough room. I just wanna show you guys, but I can't. Well, I mean, they're gonna see it tomorrow. They're gonna... They can see it tomorrow. You can see it tomorrow, Craig said. That's funny. So no front splitter. Ooh, I did get a new thing for you guys. Let me show you. You know what? As I'm walking around, they might have saw it in the background. Uh, I'm going to do a full review on this thing. So I got to take all this paper off. What this is, is a aluminum, metal, skid plate, mid guard, engine guard that actually has openings to make oil change and stuff really easy. So the one I bought is actually gonna get returned. This is from a company called LX Designs, and I will put his information down below. He's a local guy, I actually know him here in DFW starting his. So I'm gonna do a full install on this, but if you guys are interested in having a metal guard, especially with this opening here for the simplicity of changing your oil, Hit that guy up. I'm gonna give the details down below. Tell him that I sent you that you saw the video. Now I did pay full price for this. I have no sponsorship, but I love supporting small businesses. So with that being said, go check him out. And if you're interested in this lowered car or something, 
this is the man. And then we'll see how it all goes together. He actually gave me hardware for it too. Where's the hardware? Hardware is somewhere. I think it's in this bag. Tools. I'll find it. But he gave me hardware for it too. Now, back here. This is ready to be laid. And I'm not looking forward to it. This rear bumper is more difficult to lay than the front bumper. The front bumper just has more trimming. And with it being white, that bumper took me forever yesterday. But it looks damn good. Must wait. But you must wait, says Craig. Must wait. Rear bumper, trunk, roof and mirrors. We gonna get it done. We have to. So this rocker is done. Went ahead and went into this first body line or corner or edge, whatever you want to call it. So that we have no white showing unless you get way over here and you want to look in there. But other than that, that looks good. Now this bumper is just laid on here right now. Oh, I guess I'll stand up and stop rolling around. So now to completely squeegee it on. Oh man, I thought that was white from the bumper. I was about to trip out. Whew. Craig's gonna attack this. We'll keep rolling. Okay. Rear bumper is almost done. Rockers are done. But now we have a dilemma. So my calipers and all my secondary color was gonna be red. You know, always safe bet, red Brembos, red decals, you know, just some kind of contrasting color. But I think we might've had to change it up, man, because you think it look? I, yes. I think we gotta do this. I need to know what you guys think. I think this green, now this is just masking tape, guys, because we had extra masking tape. What do you think? Green on, oh man, I really think so. Lime green. Lime green, buddy. Lime green calipers. Lime green calipers. I wish this did it better justice, and the wheel's not on, guys. And black for sure. With, ah, oh man, I think that's gonna have to be a winner. And black for both. Black Brimbo decals? Yeah, I think. I think we might have. Uh... Can cut them in blue? Huh? Can cut them in blue? Blue? No, that'd be too much. Blue on green? Yeah, that'd be kind of. Comment down below. Let me know. Um, what color Brimbos, what color secondary color do you think I should run on this blue? I'm thinking green. Green is a winner. Green was actually my first go to back when I wanted to do the car and, uh, much different color, actually. I don't know. I'll show you guys a rear bumper. I'm not done with it, but it's almost done. So we're all trimmed up here. It's that inlay I told y'all. So you can see a little line. But. Good. Let's see what we got back here. That is all done. All that's going to be covered by my lower valence. We are all done over here. Trimmed. Yeah, buddy. We're making really great progress. This is, this is what? Craig's happy about his, his rockers. Well, they look good, actually. No, I mean, they look really good. We got them tucked in. I showed y'all guys the other side. This side's done. Basically, the rear bumper will be done in about 30 minutes tops after I tuck the bottom and finish trimming. Then we'll do the trunk. Get the wheels and everything on. We'll get the car on the ground. Roof, roof might get done tonight. Uh, maybe. But regardless, the car's gonna be on the ground tonight. Almost fully assembled. I appreciate that. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, you did get it really dirty. All right. Bumpers being reassembled. Wow. Crazy how dirty that got. Woo. It's getting close, guys. Getting close. I'm excited. You guys excited? Because... This took way longer than it should have, <laughs> but I wanted to do, I wanted to do it right. I wanted to make sure that it was right. Not only is this my personal car, but this is what I'm documenting for YouTube. This is advertisement, marketing, showing off what I can do, what I'm capable of doing, um, teaching Craig along the way. Uh, you've had a lot more hands on on this one than you have anyone else or any other vehicle we've had in here. Uh, White, white car. <laughs> white car took so much longer than. No, no. no way, no. No way, no. White car took so much longer than uh, black cars we've had previous or any dark colored cars we've done. Oh, man. And I mean, we did more than just. I mean, we did a lot. May not seem like it on YouTube because I'm only showing y'all bits and pieces, highlights, ending results, a little bit here and there. But the whole process takes a long time. We're gonna knock some more stuff out. I don't even know what time it is. Doesn't matter. See you guys in a little bit. Oh yeah. See, and this is that gap I was talking about that you will see if I wouldn't have done that inlay with that and if I'd have left it white, it would have been terrible. Ooh, that's looking good. We're almost at the finish line, guys. Almost. Now we are going to get the wheels back on. <laughs> We're tripping on stuff. Get the car back on the ground because I need to be able to move it in the morning. And it'll all be finished tomorrow. Man, this looks good. And I think we're actually going to leave the wheels chrome because it actually, there's enough chrome on the car or silver or whatever you want to call it to give it accents so we're gonna live with that well she's on the ground wheels are on roof and top of the trunk mirrors keep forgetting about mirrors stupid mirrors we need those those are important I don't need them. Just make Man, I do need them I'm gonna have this weird wind noise if I don't well, that's it for tonight. That's it for this. The next video should be completely done out in the sun. We did not make tuned originals. We set a goal, we missed it. Also didn't want to go sit out in the rain all day or wet weather, some cars are parked in the grass. It's no big deal. I missed a show. There's plenty of shows, it's about to be show season. So there's a lot more to come. I didn't want to rush the car. I didn't want to do things half-assed really, just to turn around and take the car back apart because I was trying to make a car show. So do it right, do it right once. Keep yourself from having to do stuff over and over and over again. Craig over there. You gonna be able to get up? Mm -hmm. <laughs> So the wheels look really good. I'm waiting for my suspension to settle again because right now I'm in like four by four mode and I don't like it. But I'm it, that's it. Calling it, done for the night. If you like this video, hit that thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that bell for notifications. If you, if you don't know yet, there's still a lot more to do to this car. There's a lot more videos. And a lot of those videos are specific installs or unboxing. I mean, I still got some really cool stuff up there that I haven't even opened yet to look at myself because I want to open it for you guys. 
So stay tuned. I'll see you guys in the next video.